Yeah, so Megan Good and Jonathan Majors have been known, been kicking it recently, and they have been spotted out at none other than Red Lobster. And I just want to tell all you broke chicks, come on back home. Come on back to the lobster with your boy, okay? Because it's good enough for Megan Good and Jonathan Majors. It's good enough for you. All these times that y'all talking about a dude got to take y'all on a date and spend four, five, six, seven hundred dollars on you. And you know when you go out with you, when y'all are independent and you go take your little snotty nose, brat kids somewhere to eat, Fridays and Applebee's work just fine, don't it? That be the treat day. You be like... <laughs> No, y'all be like McDonald's popping them nuggets like they m and well, They good with the extra sauce like this. You, you ever mix the two sauces together? No, y'all do. There's, no, I'm not saying that McDonald's or Applebee's or whatever, that this should be your standard of whether. But I'm tired of women acting like they too good to eat this regular person food. Y'all been listening to Drake. And he keep talking about Nobu and all of this. You know what I'm saying? You got chicks right around. To, where you where you want to go get a Jay Alexander? Want to go to Bruce Chris? Get a tomahawk steak? Shut up! Go find Tom Tom or somebody talking about tomahawk steak. You don't know nothing about no tomahawk steak. I'm sick of chicks be acting like. Listen, it ain't no problem to 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 treat yourself and, and go eat the finest things and this that and other. But I think a lot of times it get lost in the sauce from the translation of what these celebrities be doing and these extravagant lifestyles they be living and the wonderful exclusive places they be eating. And then you take the raddest of the dotted stock boxes that you can find in the hood and then they get the one to repeat this stuff to you, to regular dudes doing regular things. Girl, I got a regular job. You just cussed at me when you said tomahawk steak. I know what it costs in the store to go buy one of them. I got the hiccups just looking at that in the in Sam's Club. Like, how much? <laughs> so I can only imagine what they going to be charging when they get to sizzling it up, dropping that butter on top of it in the back of whatever steakhouse that is that you want to go get uh, a meal from. And I ain't got no problem treating you to that. But I'm just saying a lot of women get beside themselves when you ask them what they want to eat. The first thing they, snake and lobster. Whole time she been buying nuggets and fish sticks all year. You don't even know what a snake and lobster costs at the grocery store. I'm just saying. You know, they, they act like they, you know, like you cussing at them or something. If you be like, yo, you want to go to Friday's or you want to go to Applebee's or something like that. Applebee's. Yeah. Yeah, and listen, I know we I know we be getting on Megan because she had when he got married <clears throat> to to the pastor and she act like she still was uh for the streets and they had to the uh, pastor had to relinquish her back to <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Sometimes you think you want something you ain't ready for, you know, maybe maybe you wasn't ready for that, but she found Jonathan Majors. I know he going through some situations now. He, you know, he might tell her, like, hey, look, I don't know how this is going to play out with this white girl. So, might want to start saving right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that as a couple sometimes. Hey, yeah. <laughs> no, they hit me last week with that child support out my check. I don't know what we looking like this month, but better get ready for them nuggets. And we need y'all to be cool with that. Get them nuggets, mix them two sauces together, and let's have a great time. Because it ain't about it, it don't really be about the food like that. It's really about spending some time together. And as long as the food is serviceable, come on. And you gonna tell me red lobster? Well, like when like everybody that got so uppity and snooty that red lobster ain't good. Listen, I ain't been to red lobster in a long time. But I went recently, this past maybe about six months ago. It was delicious. You understand what I'm saying? Delicious. The cheddar biscuits. Like, listen. And, and Red Lobster, they, they got a nice little menu. But it, it's like, you know, I was, I try to, what if I go out somewhere? I want to get something different that I don't eat all the time. So I was like, I wasn't that impressed by the menu. I'm looking through. I'm like, I don't know what I want. Uh, but I found something. It was like a little uh, wine sauce or something. I'm talking about everything was good, man. But 
the lobster not overcooked, the shrimp not overcooked. Everything was good. The sauce was good. They they had catfish. They fried catfish back out there, brought that out. It was looking golden brown and deli- everything was good. Everything was good. So it's like, yo, <clears throat> don't act like you can't go to a regular place and eat some regular food. Because the same chicks that are, you talk all that junk It'll be the same one you see had to drive through at Wendy's somewhere like, oh, you just cussed at me about suggesting Fridays the other day, but I see you at Wendy's getting that $5 biggie bag for you and your little snot-nosed baby, huh? Now you can eat some, uh, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm not saying this is the standard that dudes want to approach you with, like most dudes, yeah, if we, if I got it, we probably is going to go somewhere nice or whatever. But I always don't want something nice. Like, sometimes I get a taste for certain stuff. Sometimes I, I love Wendy's, as you can see. <laughs> and I, I like Wendy's burgers. So it was like, yo, if I want to go get some Wendy's, I need a woman that could, that could be like, 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 don't act like you don't like, don't act like you don't like Wendy's too. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever your little fast food spot is. Like, don't get brand new. Like, you don't like Applebee's and Chili's. They used to have that. It was, what was that? Chili's used to have a little sizzling. You know what I'm saying? They used to bring that little fajita plate out sizzling. That plate get the wafting pass. You'd be like, oh, why well, ain't get them fajitas? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know them. I'm just saying, man. Don't act like the regular stuff don't be good. Some of the best food be the places like that you don't expect. You know what I'm saying? That you don't expect. But I'm just saying, it more so be about the time you're spending with this person. And, and, and really, when they get to acting like this, you it's hard to have a good time anyway. Because if, if a woman, if she do go out with you to Red Lobster, but she's looking at it down her nose like, I can't believe I'm in here or whatever, whatever. I don't want this bull. Like her whole attitude going to be messed up for the whole date anyway. So it's gonna be like it's gonna it's gonna kind of be impossible to have a good time. Like I'm just saying, even if I was on celebrity status, I don't want to be in a place where I can't enjoy regular things that I've enjoyed all my life. Like I, I've just I'm <clears throat> I've never really been like that. I do love trying new exclusive exotic things i love trying different foods but they the thing with me they don't always have to be some high priced expensive crazy type of deal you know what i'm saying it's like yo i just wanted to be good i just wanted to be good and i love a deal so you know what i'm saying I, yeah if i can go to such and such spot and get oh they got the oh they got the big giant burritos for this much <clears throat> Like Joe Budden, I think there was a Joe Budden show. They was Joe was trying to stun on uh, Chipotle. I'm like, yo, why are you flexing on Chipotle? He was going crazy on Chipotle. I'm like, dog, that is a dog burrito for ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? Steak, chicken, whatever. I think the steak was like eleven dollars. You know, I, I had first got a hold of one of them burritos. I'm like, what well, is this boy? Is all right? Put that extra, put that little spicy sauce sauce on there. I'm like, man. I don't know why my man going hard on these burritos. But it was something else he was tripping out on that was like, oh, you tripping out burritos, but you eat this? Like, come on, man. We got to stop getting rich and acting like. Now, I get when you get rich and you want to eat better and you want to do better and certain things you just change in your life, and that's how you do. There's nothing wrong with that by all means. But when you know when you want to splurge or you want to have your little cheat day or whatever, don't be acting brand new like them rego foods don't work, okay? Don't be trying to hide all in the, you know what I'm saying, with your shades on, all in there. Trying to hurry up and bite that burger. Eat that burger with some pride, like Megan Good and uh, <laughs> Jonathan Majors is. But this is boy P-Cap. Come, come back down to earth. Come on home. Back to regular Red Lobster and eat with your boy. This is your boy P. Camp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.